weekend trip up to Washington. You get a big win against Washington State, tough loss to UW, but what went right in that first game? Uh, you know what? First of all, the, the environment was wonderful. Um, I, I, the fans, the, under the lights, the energy of the, the evening was great. The weather was good. Um, and, and I thought we, we fed into that a little bit. Um, but we were, we were just sharp. We were, we were very sharp. We were moving the ball well. Um, and and we, were, we were on point when it comes to that game. Still probably didn't finish as well as we should have. Um, but I, I will give Ella, their, their goalkeeper, a lot of credit. She made a, a few big-time saves. Um, but at the end of the day, we found a way to win it. And then the game against UW on Sunday, what didn't go right? It seemed like first half you really controlled play, second half they, they responded. Uh, it, it was twofold. Um, Washington gave up a little bit of possession um, as, as their tactic, which uh, it was a good tactic on the day. Um, but we were, we were a little bit sharper um, as, the, as the afternoon went. They came out with a little bit more energy in the second half and we didn't quite match it. Um, some small detail things as we got through the through the afternoon, didn't quite stay as sharp as we needed to, and and, and as compact as we needed to, um, and we'll address it this week. But but at the end of the day, they 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 were a little bit better at their tactic than we were at ours, and and that's that's this conference. Big weekend for Sammy Joe. Uh, she's been playing well yeah. all season, but talk about her play of late. Well, Sammy Joe, I mean, after being out a year, you you look at her and she stepped in and, and hasn't really skipped a beat. Um, she's playing well with her feet. She's commanding the back. She's playing well in, in terms of organization, um, and she's making some big time saves for us. Um, in, in especially when we haven't conceded that many shots over the time to always be ready and available when when it does come her turn to to show up for the team, she's done very very well. You have Arizona Arizona State at home this weekend. What challenges do those two teams pose? Uh, lots of challenges. Contr contrasting styles. Um, one team, you know, not doing as well as they probably want to and being hungry to find their way out of that, where the other team's riding a high um, and, and, and playing very well. So um, one team, you know, in Arizona State plays really, really short and tight and, and can counter into spaces really quickly. Um, and Arizona keeps the game uh, in your box and serving balls in and, and uh, with their flip throws and things keeps, keeps the game right in on top of your, your box. So um, we've got to still do us and try to control the ball a little bit, try to control possession, and give ourselves as many opportunities as we can throughout both games. Coach, a couple of SC alums factoring in the NWSL final. You know, talk about Amy Rodriguez and Caroline Stanley. First, I'll start with Caroline. I mean, uh, what a year for her to, to, to not start off with a contract, to work her way into a contract, and then end up in the final. What an experience for her to have. I was really happy for her to be a part of that um, and looking forward to, to her uh, her, her future, but um, Amy Rodriguez, I mean, what do you say? I mean, two years in a row, finding a way to, to score the game-winning goal in the championship game, what a year she's had. Um, but it shows what, what made her special while she was here and what continues to make her special as a pro. So um, very, very proud of them and, and excited for them both. 